Hey guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today courtesy of Auto World in Manchester, New Hampshire, we have their 2018 Tesla Model S 100D. Now you guys might know I've driven pretty much every Tesla but all the performance versions. So this is, I, other than the Model 3 dual motor, my first time in a non-performance Tesla. So I was very, very curious to drive it and see if it's still good. Spoiler alert, it's phenomenal. Uh, I personally can't see, well no, I can see spending the money for the performance, but I'm not here begging for that additional performance. You just step in, foot on brake. All your controls are in this main center screen. Suspension, very high, high, low. Your lights, driving, all your different modes, autopilot. This does have summon mode, auto wipers. This is pretty cool. I love these things. Huh, didn't know those were new. I haven't driven a Model S in a while, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the one big, big difference I've found with performance versus non-performance is off-the-line speed. Uh, pretty much like the Porsche Taycan, how the Turbo S added power is only used during launch control, that's what this feels like. So in the performance, it is the second you step on that pedal, dead stop it will take off. This one, it it takes off very quickly, but you feel it kind of ramp up for a second, and then it goes. Now, it's still fast. It's still extremely fast. Hey, original window sticker. This one was $107,000 new. That was coming. Oh, I love these things. Now, a lot of people are sitting here, they're like, I don't want electric. Electric is not the future of my mind. No, electric is the way things are going. And once you drive one of these, you realize how much fun they are. I mean, all right, let's go to 50 mile an hour and just mat it and see how that's 70. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> this one's 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. Again, uh, performance is just a little bit quicker just because of the way it is off the line. Um, see here. That is just insane. This 
especially for a non-performance. Of course, this is all-wheel drive. Oh yeah, it claws itself out of corners. I don't know guys, I mean, this is something pretty special. Only thing that feels like this is that. Taking off on a jet. Oh my goodness. I don't know man, there's just something. I think even if this was like a supercharged V8, I wouldn't like it nearly as much as it is electric. This car overall is a ton of fun. I mean, I honestly don't, uh, I have to do a direct comparison, drive a Porsche Taycan in this back to back, because honestly they're both excellent cars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.